there. You're gonna run away if I go in there. I know it. Mm. All right, I'm gonna take you guys through this. Tell me you're in labor without telling me you're in labor. <laughs> here we go. I've seen everything now. It's beauty. You guys, it's Labor Day, but I didn't really think you'd take it literally. Good morning, guys. It's Labor Day, Monday. Our lovely is still down this morning. I'm going to see if she'll get up for me. So she's down with Preg Talks. We are in the middle of a three-day treatment of glycol twice a day, calcium once a day, and a like a vitamin complex uh, injection also once a day for uh, three days. Oh, and I also induced her yesterday, so we potentially could have babies as early as tomorrow night, I think. So, let's uh, get her up and moving. Good girl. Come on. Not very big, which helps us. Good girl. Girl. All right, have you ate? Ah! So we were able to get her out. We did a treatment. This is her second day. Um, I have been giving a little bit of creep, well, to both use. So I didn't notice if she. Oh. I don't know if she's eight yet or not. I might grab some dry hay just to get her going. Brown in her teeth, which isn't good usually. Just before I get hay, I just noticed we have a ewe down here that looks like she's straining. And I did hear some chirping. I see a water bag. Hi! Carissa loves this you. Hi, honey. I'm just a little concerned because she's a skinny this time. How you doing, Mom? I see that. You're doing just fine. I have been watching this year. She's pretty skinny for how young she is. This is her second lambing. Her mom was a rock star. I know her mom really well. Yeah. You're gonna run away if I go in there. I know it. Sorry, she ran off on me. Show them what you did. And it's a lot. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yep. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. What are we doing? You having another one? Good 
Good girl. Was a little concerned. Can I check the quality of your colostrum? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a straight A student, so uh, lamb number five. Hi, little baby. Mm -hmm. Can I borrow some of your mommy's food? Uh -huh. You guys remember the refractometer? Uh -huh. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. Oh, girl, you've uh -huh. outdone yourself. 37. They're in for a treat. I don't know how much you got though, but I'm being cheap while I can. Okay guys, this is too good to pass up. Huh. Oh, it's really thick. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. I don't even know if I'll get this in the bottle. Super, super patient mom, but very little out of her. It is so thick, it's still on the side of the bottle. It is like molasses. So too thick, I think, even to get through the bottle nipple. So these lambs, lambs can get it out of their mums. You don't have to do this, but we always top off all our brand new lambs with colostrum just to make sure they've had their first drink. So I'm gonna mix this with the powder, which isn't as good, but at least it will get them drinking, sucking, knowing what's going on, but they're super interested. I think they're smart enough to find it, but. I don't like leaving the barn until I know they've had their first drink. You're sweet. I love you. Okay, I ran to get a bale of hay. So I put a little bit in her pen there. She's walking on it. I also have some in the feed bunk. Um, she's grinding her teeth, which to me uh, always indicates there's, there's, she's not feeling good. And um, part of the reason I think she's off her feed is that she's not feeling good. So I just gave her a painkiller. I should have done that yesterday. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, she just pooed, I see here. But it's not as formed as it was yesterday. It's a little stringier. So I hope, it looks like she's, I don't know, she's eaten it or that one ate it. But some of the pellets are gone. So hopefully she's eating something. Um, the other thing I noticed is this mama was limping yesterday, I noticed. So I gave her uh, a treatment and we'll just watch her. So I'm glad she's in her own pen still so I can catch her. Wasn't easy, even in that little pen. So we'll see if she will nibble even on this hay. I think the painkiller was the right choice for sure. You two are doing good. Hey mama. Loving them. Okay, good news. Michael from Flockwatch emailed me back this morning. Uh, so he gave me a step-by-step -step protocol as to what to do. So I have my phone, I have this, I've got my tagging supplies, so we're gonna go and we're gonna attempt to get this thing functional. All right, I'm gonna take you guys through this. So supposedly, I just scan the U and then go through it right from the home menu. You stay. All right, so here we go, I press the little Go button and my battery and my camera's dying. Hold that thought. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so I press the little green button to start to scan the U. So let's do this. 
Nice. Mm. Scan the U. Scan the U here. So I think I go record task against this animal. We're going to create a lambing record. Like so. So it's got the U now already in here, which is nice. Uh, lambing number. Yep. We're in lambing number one. So that's just the first lamb of the year or of the session. Date. That's wrong. It's September. It was born Friday. September 2nd. This is not right. That is fall. Can I do this? Can I do another one? Can I? Ah, I want to do my own. No, it's fall. Okay, this is, again, this is, they don't lamb in the fall, so it's not a default. So I will have to talk to him about that. We'll leave it there for now. Lambs born, this is what I really like about this one. So there was three lambs born. And all lambs aborted, no. Okay, sire, I actually don't know. Uh, because they broke down a gate. <laughs> so I'm not worrying about that in this group. Lambing difficulty. Um, vol unassisted, voluntary, slight assistant, slight assistance, I'd say. Mothering ability, very good. Milkiness, very good. Okay, can you see that? Okay, and then I'm gonna go next. And then now it's the lamb. I guess just lamb. Gender, which one was this one? You. You are the boy. So this is boy. Male. Alive, yes. Highest tag number used. Ooh, I don't know. Now, this is where you scan the lamb, I think. All right. No! That's not what I wanted. Do you want to insert? No. Uh, let's try that again. This is very sensitive. There we go. That's the lamb's tag number. Yep. So, yes, I want to insert this one. Yes. So there's its tag! Yeah, it worked! Oh, I can take a picture? Do I do that? No, I won't take a picture. Okay, so now I do the stuff like weight, breed, lamb bigger. You guys see that stuff. So. Uh, rearing normal, yes. And then notes. Cool. All right, we got it, you guys. All right, now it's business as usual. I bet you they have it in kg and not pounds, which is fine. Um, kg. Kg. Okay. 4.3. Now we do selenium, brand new bottle, alrighty, tail, and your number one, one, there you go mom. So here is the summary of this. So it goes through the mum, which I really, really like, instead of going up through the lamb, which is what my Gallagher did. So here's the mum. The U breed is a Rito cross. Again, I don't know who the dad is, so we're just going with this. Um, the lambing number, I believe this just means it's the first lambing of the group. I'm assuming once I get on to that next one, she'll be number two and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's that. Date of birth was Friday, so that's September 2nd. Mm -hmm. Season born. Now I do have to talk to them about this because I have more than one season of lambing. And over there, I believe they just typically have one. Mm -hmm. uh, she had three lambs. Two were alive, one was dead. Lambing difficulty, so I put that it was a slight assistance. Uh, Carissa pulled the third one out. She probably could have done it on her own, but it was dead, so it's just as well that Carissa did it. She's a really good mom and she's got really good milk. So, yeah, nice little summary page here. And that's all I know so far. I was about to uh, sign out for a couple hours and help Mark back at the uh, cabin. 
but I have a ewe that's been hanging out at the back. That's, that's where they go. Uh, she was actually hanging around the mama that lamb this morning, so I had a feeling. And then when I came up to leave her be, there's another one chirping. You can hear her. Yeah, right there. That one. <sighs> Tell me you're in labor without telling me in your labor. Yep. This is the other one. She keeps going. She keeps going for walks, but she was up and down like a yo-yo since about 11 o'clock this morning. Hi. Trying to tell me something? Stop, drop, and pop. In the middle of everyone. <coughs> We've got some chit chat over here, too. <coughs> really? Is it time? Oh, she broke her water! Yay! Two for one. Don't, that's not your baby. No, you haven't had it yet. No. No. Stop. Excuse me. I've ever seen two lambing quite like this before. I'm gonna get up. Push. Push. Oh. Yeah, you are. Oh my god. Why not? I've seen everything now. Beauty. 
Okay. Aww. Birthing partners. That's the best thing ever. Good ladies. <laughs> That's amazing. Good girls. No. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. That's not your baby. Not your baby. Not your baby. Not your baby. Yes, that one. That's your baby. That's your baby. Are we good? Oof. Okay, that was only cute for a whopping three seconds when uh, they didn't know whose baby was whose. And then I went to move them and they all took off to the other end. They're both, I think, trying to have another one. So I just, I just brought them down here so they can lay them together but apart. <laughs> so I can deal with them. So yeah, mom, yeah, we got a nose coming out here. Yeah, there's the head, there's the butt. Good. Wow. It's just about to put my gloves on. Excellent. Good job. Hang on, move fast. Hello. <laughs> He's just spitting them out. Listen. Hi there. You just literally fell right out of the sky. All right. Two and two. Oh. Good, Mo. You guys, it's Labor Day, but I didn't really think you'd take it literally. your mom. There you go. Alright, I got some work to do. Do I check for more babies? <laughs> You're good. Good. Good, good, good. Good, bad. Kind of a drip out of both teeth that time. Thirty-seven seems to be the lucky number today. Goodness gracious! I got that all right. Thirty-six. You guys, well done. Okay, that was a workout, but uh, two sets of beautiful twins, good moms, too good, honestly. So we're gonna just give them a little sippy sue and uh, let them be. So I once again used the uh, the milker to get some milk out of the mamas. So out of the out of one side, out of both of them, because I couldn't get their other side, they kept kicking me. I got just that much and it's so thick. So I made up the powdered colostrum. That's the difference. Of course, the exposure in this room is terrible, but basically this is golden and thick and this is a lot runnier. So to be able to feed the lambs through that nipple, uh, this is just too thick, I would think. Yeah, so anyway, let's combine the two. Yeah, that's like go, like it's thick, thick. Like you can tell just with how thick that is. Okay, so that's good stuff. So whatever they don't drink, I will keep. And just like for the next feeding, if they need another one. Um, the bigger you doesn't feel like she has a, like she's got milk there. She hasn't come into her milk yet. Like it's not flowing great yet, but just could be just thick colostrum too, so. We're gonna feed these guys. Uh. Uh. 